Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go nice. looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your caller. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. Come on, Sam. It's starting to attract attention. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! I said get the fuck out! Fast! He has a gun! He has a gun! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. I don't like being out here with no freaking backup. What the guys are, huh? You think of that? Yeah. I'm there. Get some Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power now. grid. All That'll right. let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. Yeah. At least we know the guys alone. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. <sighs> Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. 
Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? <laughs> Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and he'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Is that all you've got? I'm waiting for you, man. Come on! Think that's enough? Come here, I'll show you what's enough, asswipe! Come out and show yourself, fuckface! Is that it, Fisher? You running away? What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Hey, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Baby, don't look. Sam? Sam! What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, you are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. This guy, his money's good. He's a punk. Graco should be running his operation and hiring him out, not the other way around. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramco, a so local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? No. You? No, man. Shit. Now, this Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back. Jesus the Christ! Market, You're the ah! Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! You gotta kill him! Fuck. Come on! Show yourself, fucker! Bitch, you don't walk out of here alive! You got it! Come back, asshole! You gotta really don't fire till you can see his eyes! Just him. look, look, look! You gotta kill him! Bitch, you don't walk out of here alive! You got it! Gun is down! Lead the target, you assholes! Take him, screw this. I'm out of here.
Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing! Okay, enough. You wanna know who sent me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. He's crazy. He drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't tell you. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew. Coben was in there, and that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what. not what I said. on his game, he's a smooth operator. I heard that, that that Russian gig went down sweet. Yeah, but this Fisher guy's got him spooked bad.
Gotta wonder what these people do to piss them off so bad. Did a hit run on the guy's daughter, got away clean. If Fisher's here, he didn't get away clean. Remember, it's payday when we're done, gentlemen, so no fuck ups, okay? Not too bad. They missed the hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben wants? He eats them like candy, man. He probably wants a new flavor. No, I mean the list. You wrote it all down on the side of a freaking ammo box. Big deal. What's he asking for this time? Yeah, everything, I think. Low oxy cut and shit. Are those horse drinks? What the fuck, man? We've been tripping on meds. Oh! <laughs> supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? The CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gang. Coben cleaned them up. Coben cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what the hell is he doing capping spooks? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap spooks? Who's gonna come looking for these guys? You guys are pussies. You get anything off the bodies? No. Fingerprint ID. So unless you're the owner, you can't sell it, and you can't use it. Besides, the goggles are covered in brain. You had to go there, huh? You really had to go there. I'm just Would saying. Would you shut up, both of you? I'm getting the feeling that Coben is in way over his head for this one. If he drowns, we drown with him. Oh, man, I liked you better when you were talking about the brains.
is loaded up, the sooner we get it to the Americans at the airport. The sooner we do that, the sooner we get paid. How we doing? We're ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? Don't know, don't care. It's expensive, it's Russian, that's all I need to know. So this means we're using the usual pilot for this run? He does all the tough shipments. Yeah, Gobin trusts him. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Check the zone, guys. I want a clean sweep. Damn it. Spread out, guys. He's gotta be here somewhere. I'm not afraid of you, Fisher! Fine, I'll Come take that spot. Fight. Take him down. I'll take care of you the same way I take care of That's everyone it, else. That's it, bitch. Look around. Me. And one more thing. Your what daughter, the fuck? your oh, precious shit. little daughter, she was a fucking whore. Shit. Put on the lights. Quick, I'm gonna turn on the goddamn lights. Let her reload, guys. Fish on your ass. No. Go, go, I'll cover 
This place is haunted. Why are you gonna worry about that now, man? Because I'm hearing things, that's why. And I want to know if you think this place is haunted. No, I don't think it's haunted. You happy? Are you sure? Because it's like 500 years old. And when the lights go out, it's creepy as shit. Fuck! Son of a bitch is gonna come through that door and we're gonna blast him when he does! Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? Shit! You, uh, Danton, go check it out. See what's going on behind that door. Boss, I don't see anything. Oh, chill and die! 